It's that special time of year again just ahead of the holidays. These grounds may be empty now, but the Flint River Fair is back in full swing, bringing in 1,500 people from different Georgia counties and different states in just one night. I'm AJ Douglas, your neighborhood reporter in Bainbridge, where I asked a business owner what they're feeling about the extra foot traffic. I love it. The more the merrier. Sharon Jeter says she's been running the local antique shop in the downtown Bainbridge area for 24 years. She says she welcomes visitors who are likely to pop into town while attending the fair. I think it's going to bring a lot of other people into Bainbridge that haven't been here before. And most people that come to Bainbridge that haven't been here before are really impressed with the downtown. The Bainbridge Decatur County Chamber of Commerce hosts a five day event each year. President of the Chamber, Karen Tobin says the fair goes beyond live music and elaborate rides as it helps fundraise the community driven events sponsored by the Chamber. The Chamber couldn't run without it and we're so appreciative of the community that comes out to the fair. Last year the Chamber raised roughly $40,000 from event proceeds. Those funds allow the Chamber to execute community sponsored events, offer leadership classes and support high school students interested in manufacturing. Jeter says the influx of visitors may not have antique shopping top of mind, but she's glad to see fellow business owners benefit. Everybody has to do good or you know, it's not good if we don't all do, do well. Gates will open starting at 5 on Thursday and Friday nights. And Tobin says there's something for everyone as kids events will start as early as noon on Saturday. In Bainbridge, I'm AJ Douglas for ABC 27.